it is the legacy which you leave behind in your name that counts uppermost to make a better place for others to change this world it's in our hands that is the message of Dr. Mandela the whole concept of human settlements has changed from housing to provide space so that there can be that atmosphere of a home But most importantly, it's a, it's a project that is using new technologies, or can I say applying old technologies in a new manner, uh, in, in, in how we can quickly construct quality houses without uh, compromising on the standards. So the house, for that matter, can be built almost anywhere. It's a standalone, it's a shell, it's got no warmth. The whole question of a home brings encompasses the question of human beings. I decided to get the approval from NHPRC. So we start fighting and collaborating together. So the fight became a, a kind of collaboration. Dr. Maashi, Lerato, Kumalo was, were splendid and we carried on, carried on. When we fixed all the, the their requirements and my needs, we decided to come together here and do something together. It's a new kind of foundation, new wave. You excavate less, you use less concrete. So no cracking, no humidity. This is the weight of the thing. So everybody can do it. We've really taken bricks and replaced them with a, a light energy panel, which has a 96% retention of all energy. We've changed the way of installing windows, we've changed the way of beam filling, and just the methodology in terms of construction, we have changed things to speed it up. We're on a double story at 15 days and 160 square meters. Normally, it's a five to six week period just to get the wet work, in other words, the bricks, to roof height. The buildings that we build should be uh, durable, they should be able to be maintained and they should be able to go from one generation to the next. And that's what the legacy should do. It should raise the standard of housing in the country. Knauf has, has, has asked us to join them in the legacy project to do a house here. It's a, a brand new partnership and uh, we've been enjoying it so far. We have a lightweight steel that we uh, cleared with a concrete outer skin and then um, we have an uh, insulation barrier. Uh, this specific project here has double, double walls with double insulation covered with fiberboard. The whole structure just picks up, it's a, it's a matter of speed. So we've been here on site now for three days and uh, our house is on the, on the first floor, ready for roofing almost. We made use of a masonry walling system that consists of concrete blocks with an extremely high recycled concrete aggregate content, which means it's a very environmentally friendly product because it recycles products that would otherwise be put back into landfills. On the other side, we're using an innovative construction method where the, the blocks are made into an interlocking pattern which can basically be dipped into the dugger and placed. So it's, it's a faster, also labor intensive, but putting a limited ability on the margin for error. So we're trying to, to look at the quality aspect as well as the speed of construction. The Legacy Project was developed with the concept of sustainable human settlements in mind. It is hoped that the project will bring a meaningful change to its beneficiaries and provide a haven of safety, pride, dignity and a place where families can grow. We've had people here from the industry and everybody's picked up from us and we've picked up from them. So um, for our industry, I think it's been, a, been a, a learning curve for everybody. The legacy that we want to leave behind is for people to feel that they're not just being provided with shelter, that they're being provided with real homes because they're real people. For me, uh, there is no house, must be a home. People make a home. Atmospheres make a home. Houses, bricks, houses, walls. And it's building communities. It's not just about providing shelter, but it's providing sustainable, holistic communities where people can live, play, work. We're leaving a legacy of sustainable skills transfer. 
Legacy Project. 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 From concept to what we have here, this is an amazing story of how true partnerships between government and the private sector can come together. The NHBRC would like to thank government, we'd like to thank the sponsors that have been involved and all the various key stakeholders, including you. Thank you for making it happen. We are so proud to be part of this initiative. Proudly brought to you by the National Department of Human Settlements, the Western Cape Department of Human Settlements, the City of Cape Town and the National Home Builders Registration Council. <laughs>